I have been getting a lot of questions about how to retrieve or change your password on the Pi Network app. I have also received tons of questions on how to retrieve your passphrase on the Pi Network browser, assuming you have lost it. In this video, I will demonstrate how you can retrieve or change your password in the Pi Network mining app, and also reset your passphrase in the Pi Network browser. If you fall in the category or you are just interested in knowing how to, then this video is for you. If you are new to this channel and want more basic knowledge to the crypto space and the Pi Network, then I will recommend that you subscribe to my channel and turn the notification button on. That way, you will be notified once a new video is uploaded. Without further time wasting, sit back, relax and grab a cup of coffee, as I show you how to get this done and secure your mind pie. For the purpose of this demonstration, I will begin with the Pi Network app. For those of you who are new, it is important to note that the Pi Network has two apps the Pi Network Mining app and the Pi Network Browser. Both are equal and important, and they collaborate with each other. Meaning that you cannot have one and not have the other. If you have not downloaded them, or you have just downloaded one, it is advised that you go ahead and download both. You can also find the link to the download page in the description below. Now, let's get to business. From the home screen of your mobile app, click on the Pi Network app, then select the three stripe lines on the top left corner of the app. This will open the option menu. Scroll down to select the profile option. Once the account profile opens up, you will need to scroll down to password and then click on update. This feature was initially not available to all pioneers, but now it is. Before I continue, I need to stress that, to do this, you must initially after installation of the Pi Network Mining app, verify your phone number that was used to register the app. Now, click on update. The next page says, to update your password you need to go through the phone number verification process by sending us an SMS. After creating the password, you will be logged out from all devices, and you will be required to log back in with the new password. I suggest you be careful. To begin, you will need the phone number associated with your Pi Mining App account, then select the country of residence. After that, you enter the phone number associated with the account, without the country code. This is important. When you have done this, the phone number verification will commence, do not change the text in the SMS you will receive. Also, do not change the phone number attached to the SMS. Go ahead and send. Once this is completed, the process to change the password will begin. Feel free to pulse the video when trying to complete the process for adequate and precise steps. In your own interest, do not skip. That takes care of the Pi Network app, let's us move on to the Pi Network browser, specifically the Pi Wallet. If you are yet to create the Pi Wallet, you need to first download the Pi Network Browser, that's the only way you can create the Pi Wallet. Locate and open the Pi Browser on your mobile phone. When it loads, your screen should look like this. To start the process of retrieving your passphrase for your wallet, click on the wallet. This will take you to the login screen of the Pi Wallet. If you have or can remember your passphrase, then you are good. But if you are looking to rake over your wallet passphrase, then scroll down to the bottom, and click on reset your passphrase here. Please note that, when you select this option, it will generate a new wallet and immediately cancel and delete the old wallet, and a new passphrase will also be generated immediately. The newly created wallet will also be credited with 100 test pi, this credited pi is not real, but it is strictly for testing purposes. For those of you, who have already migrated their mind pi to the mainnet, and at the same time forgotten the passphrase to log back in. You are advised to be very careful. Let me log in to demonstrate. I am one of the many that have started the process of migrating their mind Pi to the mainnet as you can see. If you have started the process of migrating your mind Pi to the Pi wallet, I mean, if you have actually synchronized your wallet address with the mainnet. Your wallet should look something like this, obviously with a different figure from mine. At this point before I continue, I would like to sound a firm warning. This warning is strictly for those that have already synchronized their wallet to the mainnet and have also lost, or forgotten their passphrase. You might likely lose your migrated Pi when you reset, or recreate the wallet. Reason is, there are no indications if the migrated Pi will return with the new created wallet. Let's look at it closely. When configuring for migration, you were asked to synchronize your wallet to the mainnet. This means that, 
the blockchain captured and registered the wallet hash and identity number, which makes it unique to you alone. When you decide to recreate another wallet due to you forgot the passphrase, the blockchain will have to synchronize with the newly created wallet hash and identity number. It is only logical to believe that the old wallet will be deleted alongside the contents. In this case the already migrated Pi, hence a newly created wallet is credit with a new set of test Pi immediately after you have created it. Hey, don't get me wrong. Unl's the Pi Network core team has built a program that will recognize this and attach your balance from the old wallet into the new one. Remember that, this process is not just resetting the passphrase, but also recreating the wallet from scratch in order to generate a fresh passphrase. So, be careful. I will take this opportunity to introduce the new Pi wallet interface and explain the balances that you see after migrating to the mainnet. Immediately you launch the wallet, the migrated Pi will be displayed with a history of how the transfer was done. What you currently see in my wallet is some part of my mind Pi that was migrated to the mainnet. This does not include all my mind Pi and that of my team members. My wallet will continue getting credited more Pi as soon as members of my team submit and pass their KYC. And also, more Pi that I personally mined after the day the migration took place, will also populate the wallet. If you need to receive Pi from any one or merchant, simply click on receive and you will be greeted with a page where you will two options, to either copy the wallet public key and send across to the sender, or you click on share to activate the share function on your mobile phone. This gives you more options on how you can send the wallet public key. On the other hand, if you need to send Pi to anyone, you will simply click on send and the next page will look like this. Here you are expected to fill in the correct receiver public wallet address. The next column is for the amount of Pi that you intend to send out. The fee as of the time of recording this video, remains at 0.01. There is no indication yet if the transaction fee will change or remain the same. I strongly advise that it should be left this way. Once you are done, click on send. Next, I will explain the figures that you see on the transaction history. The first transaction you see is 308.36, this represents the lockup Pi based on my selected configuration during the lockup I did. To know more about the Pi lockup, you can watch a video I made concerning how to lock up Pi before mainnet. Before my Pi was migrated, I selected and configured a 25% lockup, that means that the 308.36 Pi is 25% of my total Pi migrated. It is important to understand that, this does not represent the total 25%, but it is 25% of 1233.4 Pi that was initially migrated. As more Pi is migrated to my wallet, 25% of it will be transferred as lockup. Meaning I will not be able to transact with that amount till the period selected elapses. Next is my actual available balance, which is 924.10. This is the balance of 75% of my migrated Pi so far. This is the actual amount of Pi that I am allowed to transact during the open mainnet. I hope this video brought value to you, and if it did, consider sharing this video to help others and also leave a thumbs up. If you have any comment or questions, kindly leave them in the comment section and I shall answer them in speedy time. If you have not subscribed, feel free to click the subscription button and hit the notification bell. After all it is free, and it greatly helps my channel, which in turn, helps me bring more value to you. My name is Tony and this is basic knowledge. Until my next video, keep mining.